Greetings again. I just wanted to um, go a little bit further with finger picking on a 12 string from the last video that I posted um, and introduce you to uh, another picking style that can make a 12 string sound really nice. Um, so um, this picking style is when I develop myself, I don't know whether other guitar players use it. I tend to use it quite a lot because it gives a very different sound to the guitar in terms of um, the type of song that you can sing with it. It's the, 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 the standard guitar picking that a lot of guitarists would use would be the alternating finger pick, which is sort of very typical of players like Paul Simon, who used it in most of his songs involved that type of picking. Uh, this one is, um, it's not an alternate, altern alternating, sorry, it's not an alternating pick, it's a pick where um, for every finger stroke you do a thumb stroke as well. So I'm going to show that to you now and then I'll, I'll play a song just so you can get an idea of the sort of sound it gives you. So if I just move the camera, excuse me a minute, here we have my trusty guitar again, my rain song now, okay. Um, just to, to um, update you from last time, this is tuned down to uh, a bass D. Uh, I've got it capoed, capoed three, just because that's good for the register of my voice. Um, so I'm down, tuned to D, so open, open D and then standard tune. Okay, now this finger pick. Sounds like that. Now what I'm doing is so I'm doing this the top three finger with my three fingers and as each of those strikes, so the thumb strikes as well. So I'm doing this. So that's index and thumb, middle and thumb, ring and thumb, back to the middle and thumb, and then the index and so with these three, and a thumb with each one. Now I'm varying that a little bit as well because what I'm doing here, I can either do a straight or I can do so I can change the timing of it. Now what I'm doing then is I'm throwing an extra thumb in. Okay, so I'm going one one, two, three. And that's it. Now it sounds just as good on a six string, but a 12 string, it just gives it that lovely different sound that you don't get with a tw uh, six string guitar. Um, for the song I'm going to do, I'm going to do the straight forward, up and down. So the index finger will be playing on the third string, the middle string will, the finger will be playing on the second string, and then the ring finger plays on the first string, and I'm just going, That's the finger picking now. The chords I'm using, you just twist this around a little bit, you know, I did the chords as well. Then I standard, standard, fairly standard chords, fairly standard, they're completely standard. So I've got a D, 
and we're going down to we take our middle finger off and we put our pinky, our little finger there okay, into the fourth fret on the A string then we put a G like this so your G is there and then we're going to move that finger down to there I believe giving us an open A so we've got this Then also going to use a chord up here. Okay, so that chord, we've got those chords. And this one is up here. It is effectively, it's like a bar chord C, but we're going to break it down into. Oops. I told you this guitar is just a little bit tired these days. So the shape of that one there is going to be middle finger on the second string and we are up, let me count it up for you, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight frets there. This is going to be then in the seventh fret on the third string and this is going to be in the ninth fret on the fourth string. Okay now it's a sort of power chord if I was open, if I wasn't using the capo, it'd be a bit of a power chord G. So for the sake of argument for the moment, just imagine I'm playing D here. G, A, and it's a power chord G. Power chord G, we'll call it that. Okay, but capo up three. So this is my, this is what it sounds. Here we go, this is a song called My England. Just the first verse and chorus. If I must leave your shore one day Turn and turn again Walk away Sounds like that. Okay, oh, and one more chord we're going to be including in there. We're going to use a B minor. I'm going to walk down E minor with a. Okay, so let's have it. This is how it goes full verse and chorus. If I must be. One day, turn and turn again, walk away. I will recall the days we knew and never lose my love of you. My England, my England. Okay, and all that using that. And what I will say is that takes quite a lot. Of, you can see probably by the strain on my hands. It takes quite a lot of hard work to get used to doing that and sustaining it for a long time. It, it, it's, it's very wearing on the muscles, but it's a great sound once you get it. Okay, thank you very much.